Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for November 7th, 2024. Welcome to Shredding La Belle Tarot. I hope you all are doing well today. Just keep in mind, Libra, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also keep in mind that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes across your platform. Whenever it does come into your energy is whenever it is meant for you, okay? All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's get right into the tarot. I'm actually going to do something different. I'm going to pull one Archangel Michael Oracle card and one Mystic Red Rose Oracle card to start your reading today. See what Spirit can say about what you have going on, okay? And then we'll get right into the tarot. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Libra. Show me that Libra energy. Show me the cards that I need to see for Libra, please. Let's get one more for... One, two, three, four. There we go. Have confidence is your card for today. Very good card, okay? Have confidence, Libra. Okay, so a prayer that you can use. It says, Archangel Michael, please tend me. No. Archangel Michael, please lend me your courage and fortitude. Help me realize that I am one with all that is divine, wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance, and health. Allow me to feel confident and peaceful about myself in all ways, okay? So that is a prayer that you can use if you would like to pause that and read it, okay? So you're being guided to have confidence at this time, Libra. Okay, let's get one Mystic Red Rose Oracle card and see what spirit has for you there. Holy Spirit and Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see for Libra today, please. Show me that Libra energy. One, two, three, four. Okay. One more. One, two, three, four. There we go. It says picture. Looking at pictures, missing you, nostalgia, and make new memories. Okay. <clears throat> some of you might be uh, looking at pictures of someone. You might have someone looking at pictures of you. Some kind of nostalgia. I feel like it might have something to do with your past here. Libra is what I'm picking up on, okay? Maybe you are having um, a time period where you're being guided to have confidence to continue moving forward. Maybe you've had like a, a rough, a couple of rough patches in your past or things that were hard for you. However, um, I feel like at this time, you're just being guided mainly to have confidence as far as moving forward and where you are headed and where you are going, okay? So let's get right into the tarot, see what spirit has for you today. You do have a pop out already. What's going on here? Um, Eight of Swords and the Reversal. Very good card. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see for Libra today, please. Let's get one more. One, two, three, four. There we go. Daughter of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. And the Daughter of Wands. So, nice. Very good here. Okay. So, the Daughters in this tarot deck are representational of the pages um, in the traditional Rider Waite tarot deck. So, you have the Eight of Swords in the Reversal Libra, which means that you are getting unstuck, okay? Like, um, moving on from anything that's been holding you back so far, okay? You're kind of like getting into this momentum where you are moving forward. You have options that lie ahead with the Seven of Cups card. This means that you are looking at the options that lie ahead so far, see what options that you have. I feel like this is also an opportunity. You have a lot of different options that are being handed to you at this time. You have the Daughter of Wands in the upright position, which is taking action on your goals and enjoying every moment. And you also have the Daughter of Pentacles here, which is like the Page of Pentacles, new opportunities that are coming in. So you have some very good cards here in the present. Let's clarify the present situation for Libra, please. Holy Spirit and Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see for Libra in the present. Show me the cards that I need to see. One, two, three, four. There we go. Six of Pentacles in the upright position. This represents an equal give and take. It also has the Libra scales on this card. That's why it represents an equal give and take. It also represents a very nurturing energy. So you could uh, be very generous to people, usually the people that are less fortunate than you. You could be a very generous person, person here. 
Three of Pentacles in the upright, which is teamwork, working together with other people. Can also be recognition for work that you've been doing. Uh, maybe you have a particular skill set here, Libra, that people are noticing at this time. You have the Knight of Pentacles in the upright position. This means that your vibe attracts your tribe here. You are in the energy of attraction, okay? Which means whatever is meant for you, it is coming in for you. And I feel like you're starting to see that now. You're starting to get some recognition for that now. <clears throat> also with the Six of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, you have the Nine of Pentacles, which is being uh, someone that is very independent, okay? Someone that... Uh, is happy with the wealth that they do possess, happy with their passion for life. So um, the Nine of Pentacles always reminds me of someone with boundaries, okay? And the reason for that is because the Nine of Pentacles is giving away three of her pentacles, but she is saving six for herself, which means that she is making sure that her cup is full before she gives to other people. And I feel like you are in this energy here, Libra, where you have learned boundaries, okay? You have the Hierophant and the Reversal, okay? This means that you might be doing something that is um, unorthodox or something that might be considered against tradition, but it's also a card of thinking outside of the box. And I feel like you are thinking outside of the box here, Libra, whenever you're moving forward, whenever you're uh, taking action, doing anything in this manner here. A lot of very good cards coming out for you here. This is telling me that you're a critical thinker. You can think outside of the box. Okay, let's get one more for Leo to pull it. I don't know where I got Leo from. That was the most random thing to come out of my mouth just now. Okay, so you might be dealing with a Leo. You might have Leo somewhere in your chart, okay? I was thinking Taurus just a couple minutes ago because you do have these Taurus cards here. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So you got a lot of Earth signs here. So you're probably a very grounded person, Libra. Let's get one more for Libra to pull it all together. You have the Eight of Cups in the upright position, okay? Which is walking away from anyone or anything that might be um, no longer serving your highest purpose here. And with the, ha with the Have Confidence card, Libra, there might be a chance that in the past you didn't have a lot of confidence in certain areas, okay? Maybe you did in specific areas but lacked it in other areas, and I feel like you're walking away from that lack confidence mindset, okay? You're keeping a very confident mindset as far as moving forward, and you have a lot of beneficial cards to show that it is working for you. So continue to do whatever it is that you're doing. Let's look at the past leading up to this present situation for you, Libra. Holy Spirit and Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see for Libra in the past leading up to this present situation. One, two, four, there we go. All right, you have the Hanged Man and the Reversal, okay, which means that you are getting a new perspective on life here, but you're still trying to um, keep a positive mindset, okay? You're doing the best to keep a, pos a positive mindset while looking at the world differently, daughter of cups in the upright position which is like the page of cups it could be that you're making an offer towards someone or someone is making an offer towards you here libra okay um maybe asking you out or you're asking them out you have the star and the reversal okay star in the reversal represents hopelessness despair or a lack of spiritual connection okay and the emperor in the upright position so i would say you have a lot of good cards here libra even in the past okay I did say literally in the present situation here that you might be uh, doing something different. You're having confidence and you're getting away maybe from a specific mindset that you had here in uh, the past, okay? And the star and the reversal represents hopelessness, despair, or a lack of spiritual connection. And it can be maybe that you were putting energy into certain uh, situations in life, but you weren't sure if it was something that was beneficial for you or something that would actually manifest. It's kind of feeling like you were on the fence here, Libra. Like maybe you were having the scales and you weren't really sure which one you should put energy into or something to that nature, okay? Um, it's showing me here in the present, you're getting um, physical evidence that the energy you've been putting into something is paying off, okay? But at this point in the past, you weren't sure if it was going to, okay? Um, it could be a person that you were around um, or you might have Aries somewhere in your chart with this Emperor card here. But with the Emperor in the past here, Libra, there's a good chance that you have some kind of leadership skills or you have a person that is leading you in the right direction or teaching you something here um, about positive mindset. So let's clarify the past for Libra, please. For some of you, you're the one with a positive mindset here, okay? Show me the cards that I need to see to clarify this past situation for Libra. What we have going on here? One, two, three, four. There we go. Seven of Pentacles. So literally like exactly what I'm saying here. 
is the juice worth the squeeze? Okay, you've been putting energy into something, been put in effort, been putting effort into something here, and you're not sure if you should continue to do it or not. But it is showing me with the Seven of Pentacles that you put a lot of effort in. You've probably watched something grow over time here. You're just not sure if you want to continue to do it. Nine of Wands and the reversal. This is delays or um, frustration over delays. The Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. Even in the, like in the upright position, this is the wounded warrior. And it means that you're very close to a victory here, but you're not able to see it, okay? Not at this time with the Nine of Wands and the reversal. In the upright, I would say that you can see the forest through the trees, okay? But since it's in the reversal, I would say that you're close to a victory, but you're not able to see that yet. Six of Wands in the upright position. And it will be something to do as far as public recognition goes, getting recognized for the work that you do, or just getting public recognition and in general, okay? People are recognizing you and noticing you here, okay? And the Ten of Pentacles and the Reversal. I would say that this Ten of Pentacles and the Reversal is one of two things. It is either something that has happened in the past already, and it's kind of like popping back up in your energy, which is why you're having a hard time being sure whether you should continue moving forward or not because of a past situation that's already happened. Ten of Pentacles and the Reversal represents the fall of a great house of power. It means that you've been putting energy into something and you were hoping to see it be built in the past, but it ended up not working out. Now you're worried about putting in your energy into probably anything at this point because of this situation in the past that didn't work out. It's either that or it's a fear that um, everything that you've built so far, you're going to end up losing it, okay? So um, the thing is here, Libra, even if like worst case scenario, even if that was the case, you've been putting in this energy into something and you end up losing it. Either way, you've been putting energy into something. Even if you have to restart from ground zero, you are no longer starting from scratch. You're starting from experience. But I don't think that that's the case here. I feel like for a lot of you, it's most likely a fear-based uh, mentality based on something from the past that didn't work out, okay? Let's get one more for Libra to pull it all together. Eight of Pentacles in the upright position. Very clear reading here, Libra. Very good reading. You've been working very hard um, and putting in your putting in the work. You've been kind of keeping your head down, doing what you need to do for yourself, okay? So let's look at the future, see what you have to look forward to, okay? Holy Spirit and Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see for Libra in the future. What does Libra have to look forward to? Show me the cards that I need to see for Libra in the future. What do they have to look forward to? One more. One, two, three, four. There we go. All right, you have the sun. Okay, I pulled two cards here. Wow. <laughs> Both Leo energy. Okay. You have the strength card in the upright position, which is relying on that inner strength, okay? Having patience as far as moving forward goes. You have the sun in the reversal. This might be a little bit of a test or a little bit of an obstacle, okay? We're not going to beat around a bush here. But with the sun in the reversal, I feel like it's more of like a bout of depression, okay? You might go through a little bit of a bout of depression or again, kind of like a back and forth energy here, Libra, throughout the reading a little bit. In the present, it's looking very good. But in the future right here, you know, Libras uh, are similar to Gemini Geminis in the aspect where they can get into the analysis paralysis phase, where you overanalyze situations in your life, and maybe that will bring depression. Now, it is also starting to get colder, and you might go through seasonal depression here, but you're being guided from spirit to keep pushing forward, okay? Rely on your inner strength and have patience um, with the sun card in the reversal. Heavy Leo energy again. You have the chariot in the reversal, which is possibly obstacles or feeling unsuccessful or like being blocked. You could be feeling like you're being blocked here. What else for Libra in the future? Seven of pentacles and the reversal. You have something worthwhile. You have something that you will miss dearly if you let it die off here. I feel like this is a lingering energy of like imposter syndrome, okay? Um, it's like whenever things start to work out for you in your life, okay, you might start to get a little depressed. So um, I actually don't have it with me, but this would be uh, a good time for you to work with Red Jasper, okay? And the reason that I say that, Libra, is because Red Jasper helps with the fear of failure and it helps with the fear of success. It encourages honesty and to live honorably. I feel like you're starting to have success here and uh, it's showing up very clear in the present situation for you, Libra. And in the future here, you might get some kind of stress over that success, okay? So you might need to work with red jasper so clarify the future for libra please holy spirit and holy angels clarify this future situation for libra what's going on here if it's not you libra it could be that someone is um up, maybe depressed or upset about your success let's get one more clarify the future for libra please one more four nine yeah 
One, two, three, four. There we go. King of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Reversal. Queen of Cups reversed, and the Page of Pentacles reversed. So, um, for others of you, there might be someone around you that is doing very well. Okay, it could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You have the King of Pentacles in the upright position, uh, which is someone that continues to solve issues in practical ways. It could be someone that is uh, financially stable or someone that has um, uh, a lot of abundance, okay? I feel like you have, you have the lovers in the reversal, which is um, a separation, someone upset, okay? It could be frustration over a separation as well. Queen of Cups in the reversal, another card of someone that is very upset or possibly you're dealing with someone that's emotionally manipulative, but I don't really get that here too much, okay? You have the Page of Pentacles in the reversal and the Queen of Cups with the lovers in the reversal. And I feel like what's going on here is you're worried about a separation that might happen. This is for the Libras that are already in a connection. For others of you, if you're uh, dealing with someone or if you're around someone that you're comparing yourself to, if they are doing well, you might get a little bit in your head about the fact that they are doing well and think that you are not doing as well as them or vice versa, okay? It could be the other way around if you're doing really well here at Libra in the future. You have someone around you that's comparing themselves to you and feeling like they are not doing as well as you are and they're getting very in their head about it, okay? Um, it does look like um, it's, it does look like someone else from this perspective, okay? But like a very heavy earth sign or possibly uh, G Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, heavy Gemini, and then Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So you have like all the signs here basically, but um, maybe a Leo. Either way, okay, uh, someone here is definitely getting in their head and it feels a little bit like imposter syndrome. Like maybe they're not doing as well as someone else or they're feeling like a little frustrated over uh, progress happening slowly, okay? We're in the like dead middle of Mercury retrograde right now. So things are bound to take a little bit more time, okay? So this is the time period during Mercury retrograde, I would say, especially out of, out of any other times, so that you need to try to have as much patience as possible. With the way that it's looking in the present for you, things are really looking up, okay? This is going to snowball. It'll turn into something positive. Let's get one more for Libra in the future to pull it all together. The Hermit and the Reversal. This is being hyper social instead of quiet reflection, okay, or kind of coming out of hermit mode. Um, I will say that if you're kind of like worried about it, or, you know, it says hastiness, rash on the card, uh, mistrust or withdrawal, if you're kind of worried about this, if this is you, Libra, um, I would say possibly just take some time to reflect, think about everything that you have been through, okay? Because if you're watching this reading right now, Libra, this means that you have made it through every single obstacle that has been placed in your path so far. Okay, you might be dealing with obstacles right now, but all the other obstacles, you've already made it through that, okay? So you have to think sometimes about everything that you've been through and see yourself for where you are right now, okay? And that, that is information that I've heard a couple of times, and that is the best advice. So let's get Big Bubba Mac to clarify some of the situation for you. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Big Bubba Mac, show me the cards that I need to see for Libra today, please. I just saw the red Jasper card too. Show me that Libra energy. One, two, four. We have father. Okay, something about your father could be significant in this reading or possibly you are a father or something about a father is significant here. Okay, what else for Libra? They care about you. So you have someone that cares about you in this reading, Libra, or you care about someone, okay? But they care about you. What else for Libra, please? Maybe someone's father cares about them, okay? Happy-go-lucky. You could be seen as a happy-go-lucky person or you're dealing with someone in this reading that's happy-go-lucky, okay? What else for Libra, please? Perseverance is called for. So definitely, yeah, it's coming out very strong. More in the future, I would say, but perseverance is called for at this time. You need to have patience, okay? Keep pushing forward. Keep putting one, one, one foot in front of the other, okay? Keep pushing forward. You're on something, onto something here. Let's keep it going. What else for Libra? Putting yourself first. Yes, very good energy. Putting yourself first here, Libra. Good for you. Okay, what else for Libra, please? We have look inward. Okay, that's that reflection card. The hermit card coming out in the future. That's that reflection, okay? You're either looking inward already or you're being guided to look inward, Libra. What else for Libra, please? We have Aries. Some of you might be dealing with an Aries. You might have Aries somewhere in your chart. Something about Aries is significant here. What else for Libra, please? 
trust your intuition okay so your intuition is trying to tell you something okay trust your intuition especially if you're doing well and you know that you're going to continue trust that okay what else for libra please leave a message at the tone so yeah maybe someone doesn't want to talk to you or you don't want someone to talk to you or vice versa okay someone doesn't want you to talk to them maybe you're calling having to leave a message at the tone what else for libra please blocked okay yeah so you block someone or someone has blocked you something about this is significant what else i feel like someone's trying to get in touch with you here libra think outside of the box okay that's that hierophant and the reversal that came out in the present situation this is you thinking outside of the box okay you're kind of doing something new here possibly libra what else native deodorant you could be dealing with someone that's native american or you are or someone here wears native deodorant okay what else for Libra? Random message. <laughs> we have P, someone's first middle or last name. Could start with a P, yours or theirs. Let's see what I found out real quick. Okay. Let's get one more for Libra to pull it all together. One, two, three, four. We have walking on eggshells. Someone could be walking on eggshells around you or you are walking on eggshells around someone has something to do with ancestors. I would say that your ancestors are protecting you here, Libra. Okay, it's important to keep that in the back of your mind. Uh, something about the ancestors is significant. I'm gonna get one more. Okay, let's get one more for Libra. Okay, wow. So I got Bubba Listen. Every time I get a Listen or a Pay Attention card, I pull three more cards. So joke's on me, I guess. Um, every time I get a Listen or Pay Attention, I pull three cards from the back, so. We have Payment. Someone might be... Um, Maybe you're getting a payment. You might owe someone money. Someone might owe you money here, Libra. You have Cusper. You might be dealing uh, with someone on the cusp of two different signs, or you might be, okay? One more, we have libido. So looking good, smelling good. You probably have a high sex drive at this time, or someone around you does. So I hope that clears something up, <laughs> all right? All right, Libra, very good reading for you today. All right, thank you all so much for the new likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. It is greatly appreciated and it does help out the channel. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you guys know what time next Thursday I come back for another reading for you guys here at Shredding La Belle Tarot, okay? Love you guys. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. And as always, love yourself first. Anything you need to know about me will be in the description box below, all right? Love you guys. See you guys later.